Like me, I believe in like, like gender roles and that. And there is a double standard and men and women are different. If I'm at my mom's house and some goons, some guys are trying to fly through the door. And let's say, yeah, the guys get through the door and they say, look, we can do what we need to do right now. Or you can let your mom and sister escape out the back door or the front door. I'll say, let my sister and my mom escape. Do, yeah, do whatever you need to do. Let them escape. A woman would never, a man would never be happy to say, imagine they came through the door and then there's a couple women and a couple men. If the guys that are coming through the door said, oh, you know, we can let the men go and the women have to stay, the women would be like, what the fuck, blood? The, the men are the ones that are supposed to fight and die. Yeah, that's just the way it's got to be. That, that's the way it is. Yeah, there's certain men will be angry with that statement. Hey, that's what comes with being a fucking man. Yeah, you got to put your life on the line. Yeah, but for the women that are around you, yeah, like your mom and your sister and shit like that. Imagine, yeah, a woman's car broke down on the motorway and you saw three women pushing a woman's car. You'd be like, what the fuck? Why is three women pushing a woman's car? Fucking three men should be pushing a woman's car. Or imagine a man sitting in the car and three women are pushing his car. You'd be like, what the fuck? It should be a woman sitting in the car and three men are pushing the car, yeah? We got, we got, we got, we got different gender roles, man. We are not equal. So that's why I believe women should know their place. Yeah? Doesn't mean women are a piece of shit. Saying we're not the same. We're not the same. I promise you right now, whether you are a man or a woman watching this right now, whether you're one of these idiots that say, fuck the police, fuck the police, fuck the police. I promise you. If you was in your yard and five guys flew through your front door and tied you up, a home invasion, yeah? And somehow you was able to get a mobile phone. I promise you, yeah? If you made a phone call to the police and they said, right, we're on our way. Yeah, you, you spoke to the person 999. They said, we're sending, we're sending five police officers, whatever, 10. If you looked out your window and in two, three minutes, you saw a van pull up and all these little blonde, you know them look all nice, you, what, every now and then you see them look all nice, blonde, Essexy police officers. If you saw 10 of them come out of the van, you'd be like, what the fuck? If your home got invaded by three or four men, you would want five big and strong male police officers to look off your door, fly through the door and smack them up and brought them up and put them in the back of a van. There's no way you would want women to come turn up to your door. So don't ever tell me that men and women are the same. We're different, bro. There's no one that can argue with that. And the dickheads that say, oh, fuck the police, fuck the police, fuck the police. Blood, I'm telling you, if you're in danger in that, you would want the police to turn up to save your, your, your ass, yeah? I was going to use colour, but there are people who are not my colour skin and they hate the police as well. Yeah? I promise you. I promise you. They might not say F the police when they're safe. They're not saying F the police. Blood. Um, you know, like, you got, like, Mark Lambie and them man there. Yeah, they must have kidnapped someone years ago. This is when Mark Lambie was active on the roads and that. They kidnapped some guy. He was naked in the back of a car. A man managed to run, get out of the car. Maybe he was in his boxer shorts or something. And he ran and jumped on top of a police car. This is what people do when they're in danger. The first thing they think of is calling the police. Yeah? This would be the same guy he was saying at some point in his life before he got kidnapped and he had to run down the road naked. Fuck that please, fuck that please, fuck that. Whatever, I don't know what he used to call the, the Babylon. Because them man they're from that sort of generation. Yeah, They call it the Babylon or whatever. The same idiot will be running to the police. Happened to one guy. One of the guys from the other side must have came to Edmonton and got caught slipping near Texas fried chicken. One of the oldest, a younger surrounding, they punched him up. The guy managed to slip through the crowd and run. He ran to the police station. This would be the same pussy. I'll say, oh, what the police, what the police. You're running to the police station. 